Humans often believe that their fate is in their own hands. That all choices come from their own free will. They don't realize that we humans form only a small part of this world. Out there, in the unknown world, we are as insignificant as a grain of sand in this vast desert. Astana. A few months ago, I was preparing my dissertation in a restaurant on L Street. The pies there were rather to my liking. I became startled when a man sitting across- oh. Excuse me, I don't believe I know you. Is there something I can help you with? Without answering my question, the man continued talking to himself. Well, look. So here you are. You're graduating soon. Clearly, you need a job, huh? Well, it just so happens that we have just the job for you. The man paused to add emphasis. A mysterious, mysterious job. A wonderful one. Mysterious and wonderful, huh? Sounds interesting. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. He handed me a business card. Both sides of the business card said were black with three letters, printed neatly on one side. S-C-P. I don't know if I want to. Thank God they didn't show my actual address or else I'd be a little bit creeped out. Anyways, this is the SCP secret files. I am Carl, as you can clearly see. Honorable Carl Stana, congratulations on becoming a member of the SCP Foundation. The Foundation highly values your knowledge and expertise and will firmly believe that you are the one we have been searching for. You will assume the position of assistant archivist in the archive department, group three. Director Chuck Awur will be your superior. Please go to the security office of sector yeah. on 8-13-2012-0900 hours to pick up your employee card. We look forward to working with you. Personal department of site 105 SCP Foundation. Foundation. Secure, contain, protect. As I was saying, this is the SCP files, but the SCP Foundation is a fictional government facility where they lock up all sorts of supernatural creatures ranging from the kind of weird to world destroying. Like, what the fuck is that? Just a giant pair of lungs? Well, nope, those are, there are people in there. They're getting tortured. What the fuck? No What's with all the our scientific breakthroughs? Prisoners. There will always be anomalies that cannot be explained. We don't know where they come from or what their purpose is. What the These questions plague mankind and affect our daily lives. It's because of this that we What the fuck is that, bro? That giant fucking puppet? An organization dedicated containing anomalous items, individuals, and phenomena. The SCP Foundation is committed to maintaining the normalcy of the world. No, the, all these cells are quite small, and there are also two cell 97s. What the, the actual living fuck am I looking at? That is just a giant penis trying to break through. I, I can't even... What is that? What? My brain cannot even form what I just looked at. I know there's somebody talking, but this is not a rational or ordinary world. You're a liar! Speak up, goddammit! I can't hear you! Yeah, secure, contain, protect, fucking bullshit! There's so many cells, holy fuck! We're going to explore every single cell here, guys. We're going to learn about every fucked up creature that's in here. I actually myself don't know much about like SCP. Hold on. Am I going to get copyrighted for this music? I'm going to talk over it so I don't get copyrighted. 
but I don't know that much about SCPs besides the SCP Containment Breach is one of the best free horror games to ever come out. I am too terrified to play it myself. But I like other than that, I don't know about any of these SCPs that we'll be running into. Apparently there's supposed there's so many different stories that you could find in here. I wasn't was there something I was supposed to read over there? Anyways, mission statement operating clandestine worldwide. The foundation operates beyond the jurisdiction, powered and trusted by every major national government with the task of maintaining anomalous objects, entities, and phenomenon. These anomalies pose a significant threat to global security by threatening either physical or psychological harm. The foundation operates to maintain normalcy so that the worldwide civilian population can live and go on with their daily lives without fear, mistrust, or doubt in their personal beliefs, and maintain human independence from the extraterrestrial, extra-dimensional, and extra-normal influence. Awesome. Secure. The foundation secures anomalies. Okay, gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. Safety management. No flammable, toxic, or explosion hazards. Followed. Where'd he go? Where'd my friend go? Also, I need to turn down these amazing graphics that my computer is just fucking slugging at right now. I don't know how it's doing it, but let's have no motion blur. How about that? All right. There we go. Much better. Hopefully my computer will not die while running this. Because this game does look fucking beautiful. No, don't do it, game. I don't have a card. Well, now I got a card. You just leave these out for anyone to grab? Oh. Enter room 914. Alright. What's going on here? The box room that nobody can get into? Sweet. Why? What? There's an exit right here? Or am I heading to the exit? I don't understand why that's right there. Very confused already. Alright. 914. I hear like an extra footstep behind me. I think I'm already being haunted by whatever fucking monstrosities are in here. Oh, that's sweet. I have no friends, huh? I just don't. Nobody's gonna orient me on anything. Just figure it out on your own, huh? Well, I'll, I, all right. You know what? This is the kind of job I can honestly get by. <laughs> I don't have to talk to anybody. I don't have to acknowledge my boss. 1989, yeah, yeah, Massachusetts, oh, oh, MIT, aren't you special? Fuck you. You'll have access to classified top secret archives. Please confirm that you are aware of confidentially clauses and agreed to swear by strictly adhere to all the SCP Foundation regulation guidelines. I don't have another choice, so sure, why not? You won't give me an option to look at them. Welcome to the SP Foundation. Before you start your work, please follow us to introduce you to software used in the archive department. Each day, your superior will assign tasks to the mission module. When there is a new task, the button will blink red to remind you. Communication with the site relies primarily on instant messaging system or information process using level 2 encryption. Please pay attention to the blinking red reminds you to view them promptly. Training is effective and means of new information sharing the, the, with the foundation. New employees must first participate in the new employee training before they may begin work. This page shows public information on all sites around the world you can view at any time. This concludes the introduction. We wish you to... This concludes the introduction. We wish you success in your work. Sweet! All right. Training. No? Friend. How's it going, gent? Did the information gathering SCP-1299... Whoa, 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 hold on! Is this like gonna go... This is too much for me to keep up with. What the fuck? Oh, no. I don't want to introduce myself. Morning, everyone, sure. 
My name is Carl Stana. You may call me Carl. I have no face. I graduated with MIT with double major in biology and philosophy. Ph philosophy. <laughs> philosophy? What the fuck? Don't, don't quote me on that, please. That's right, MIT. It seems MIT is not popular here. You don't fucking judge me, gent! What- what the fuck happened to Jonathan? Why'd he leave a bad impression on you? <laughs> you watch Rick and Morty last night? What the fuck? <laughs> I love this game. You prestigious graduates, so full of it. You think you can just beam through everywhere with your glowing academic qualifications. You've got it coming. The tragedy he went through was inevitable. How- how dangerous could dealing with- Yeah, let's ask about the tragedy. What the fuck? <laughs> Jonathan lost his left hand because he breached protocol and touched SCP-247. He was given exit on two days. What? <laughs> I can't even eat a real rare steak anymore. Isn't Class D personnel like the, the fucking... If any of you are planning on getting some serious work done, <laughs> please do me a favor and shut that up. As long as you're working in the archives department, I'm going to need you to focus on your work. Unlike the people not just spending their time gossiping all day. <laughs> what the fuck? This archives contain missions not completed last time. Some place still need modifications. I was gonna read through all this all, but it's like too much for me to keep up. Do I get to talk to these people in real life? What's my job, Chuck? That's right. I don't no need to hurry. I get fucking treated with respect. This is so fucking weird. This was not what I was expecting at all. I thought I was going to be playing like multiple stories, which is what I'm going to be doing, but I didn't realize it was going to have this little uh fucking like messaging system thing. It's just <laughs> what the fuck? No one will take care of you. <laughs> Survive. Okay, let's fucking- can I- Please work! Stay sane and always in awe. What the f training sit? Okay, let's just go fucking training. Jesus Christ. What? Okay, let's join this conference, I guess. Necessity and count authority done. Establishing encrypted channel done. Excluding mem memetic influence done. Including basic conference room module done. Establishing multiplayer connection. What is my training? What am I doing? How am I archiving? Am I like looking through people's memories? What the fuck? I don't understand. Explain. Jason Carter is a death row inmate. He sounds like a wonderful In man. For clemency, well, of course, he's a fucking redhead. With the SCP Foundation for 30 days. 
Jason Carter, what Wonderful might have you done? Work. He will be a free man. Oh, yeah, totally. Jason Carter is now D503. Listen, buddy, I can tell you this right now. We are not surviving this. <laughs> Day one, we are dying. Oh, gotta go to the truck. My truck alarm's going off. Oh, fuck. What the hell? Okay, I got a cool suit. I got fingers. I got fingies and I got... Oh no, dude. Not down with this! Fucking alien isolation, heartbeat monitor. Already don't want to play. Already. Already fucking done with this shit. What the fuck? Okay, this is cool. Now I kind of want to play. Was given no clear instruction of the task to be completed. He must find them out <laughs> for himself. I was just dumped in a fucking desert. Objective. Collect the waste. Collect the waste! Let us head to this red blinking thing that could either be a Tremors monster or said waste. Hello, sir. What are you now? Well, this looks like some waste to me. Well, I am glad we did that. Damaged petrol take. Plastic petrol. Hard to decompose even after 100 years. One of the more stubborn pieces of waste. 100 years? Or am I like on an earth that had the fucking sun? Like fucking cook us to death or something? Is that where I am? How did I get here? Who sent me the feature to clean up trash? What the hell is this? Weird looking rocks. I don't trust it, but it's not on the beeper, so I don't mess with it. Let's we'll see if we can go directly uphill, 90 degree angle. It's the best fucking truck in the world. We're almost there. No. Yes. Yes. God, we're gods. God smug men. There we go. All right. Perfect. Oh. A tire. Who would leave a goddamn tire out here? Are we gonna build our sorry, are we gonna build ourselves a vehicle? Discard tires. Discard tire filled with sand after vehicles became the main form of transportation. Discarded tires began to grow in numbers. Well, I would think so. Yeah, that makes sense. So, I'm not. I still feel like I'm in danger. I love driving around the desert and picking up garbage, but I just don't don't trust this. Don't trust 30 days of this. What if I pick up extra trash while I get in trouble? Cock? A cock barrel? Damaged tin drum. A tin drum with danger sign on it. Having once protected hazardous liquid from leaking, it was discarded upon completion of its mission. Just like you were, death row inmate. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be an overachiever here. I'm gonna pick up more trash, cause you know what, it's on the way. I'm a good guy. I like keeping my desert clean, I know for certain. Oh shit, there we go. Now we... What am I looking at? A giant pipe? Rusted iron pipe. An iron pipe whose valve is too rusty to turn. It could have been recycled, but humans still chose it to throw away. These dirty humans. They could have recycled the tires and the petrol gas and the tin and everything, and they're just throwing their trash in the desert. Now they're the reason why everyone is dead. Because of their trash.
This roadblock could have been recycled into a school bus, but humans threw it away. Blue roadblock. Although a triangular and support structure is extremely stable, even it cannot withstand the erosion caused by the desert. No one can survive the desert. All right, we have 200. We are an overachiever. First day. Just another 30 more days of this shit. Do I get a special gold star? Oh, shit. Move to the incinerator. Well. Do I go in the incinerator with it? Because I don't feel particularly safe with that. Well. Okay, let's see. Yep, that's that's all the stuff that we got. I'm a strong, independent boy. So, what is incinerating the iron going to do? It's just going to liquefy it. Then we're going to have. This was D five o three. Can you completely like disintegrate iron? In a furnace? I don't know if you can. SCP Feel protocol mandates that D-503 now undergo a psychological evaluation. Um, I want a burger. When do I get my burger time? I like delicious burger. Please take the level 2 mental test. I can't even do a level 1, first of all. Please drag the graph back. Oh, God, this fucking shit. How can- what? Oh, God. This sucks. I hate it. I hate it. So, can the things, like, overlap each other? I am so- <laughs> I've, already, I've already lost control of the situation. There we go. You go in the corner. You go right there. You go there. I can put shapes in places, guys. I'm smart. I'm a smart boy. There we go. Ah. Fuck. I think this is a challenge for me. I picked up trash in the desert. Nothing is a challenge for me anymore. Except where to figure out where to put this fucking thing. Move it. God damn it. It's so fucking loud. I need to turn that shit down. It's so fucking obnoxious. Okay, where did we fuck up, guys? There we go. See, I'm not that much of a fuck up. Oh, look, I got fourth place! How did D257 do that in 43 seconds? Such bullshit. How dare you show me a leaderboard? That's gonna make me feel fucking bad about myself. I'm not doing as good. It's a terrible psychological fucking test. <gasps> yes, a delicious burger with... What the fuck, bro? Why didn't you catch the burger? It's still delicious. Why didn't you grab the burger? Whatever, fuck it. Go to sleep. Where's my bed? Do I sleep in this chair? Oh, that's cool. It's like ever changed. This was the first day D503 psychological data was collected. On the first day, D507 shit himself to death. How can this job earn freedom for a death row inmate? I'll tell you, it didn't. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Dr. Raymond Ham from Site 83. Welcome to today's training conference. Dr. Ham, you are Today, by far one I'm of the most handsome men I've ever met in my life. I working on called SCP know this might be a little inappropriate, but would you like to go eat dinner sometime? The desert you saw just now is SCP-7457. D-503 is a volunteer who we invited to help us learn more about this desert. Prior to the Foundation's involvement with SCP-7457, 329 people went missing in this area. As a precaution, 
We have introduced lockdown measures as we attempt to find the cause of these disappearances. Oh, you don't even know yet, as you everyone okay? everyone here is new to the Foundation, it will be good for you to learn about SCP-7457. Let me explain how it works. Before we get started, are there any questions? Dr. Ham, I'm Will Barton, 3rd Special Squad, Site 86. Hello, Will. Before Hello, I came Will. Here, I thought I had a basic understanding of the Foundation. I've heard of these anomalies, but only in terms of human anomalies. I had no idea that SCP-7457 was a desert. How do we begin to make sense of this? How do I That's shoot it, Doc? Question, I can't though. shoot a whole All desert. I was told I can shoot human anomalies. Are being labeled I can't anomalies. fucking kill a desert, Doc. Human anomalies, regional anomalies, artifact anomalies, and various other phenomena beyond our control. The work of the Foundation is to isolate these Dude. anomalies and prevent the public I'm so from, fucking hyped for this, you shall can't... We say, experiencing them? Okay, next question. Hello, Dr. Ham. Shut up, I'm Mark. Harris, you fucking suck up. From site Stay away from Dr. Ham. He'll never love you like he loves me. In the desert. Why did it do that? And what does this have to do with anomalies? Okay, Mark. What I can tell you now is that everything you see is part of SCP-7457. SCP anomalies can be a little difficult to understand at first. Just know that it or they have their own rules. Perhaps you'll understand what I mean once we finish watching the video. Yeah, okay, you know. Let's move on. All right. So we're about to be 330 People missing in the fucking desert. Fairly normal. However, there was an interesting occurrence on the eighth day. When Jesus rose on the eighth day, he said, Let there be garbage men. Pick up thy trash with thy red robes. Good. We're good. We're ready. We're pumped. We're fucking pumped. If there's any monsters out here, we're just gonna run them over for the truck. All right? Let's have a look at what happened. We'll fuck them up with the truck. All right? Let's go. Uh, I don't want to go at night time. This was never a deal. This was never part of the deal. All right, let's grab the furthest trash. It's gonna fucking murder us out here, huh? I'm ready. What is that? The hell is that? What the fuck is? Get, can't get out of the car. There we go. Oh, oh, <laughs> I knew it was bad. I knew it was bad. It's a what the fuck? Black spindle, a spindle of thick black cable. That is wound too tightly to see what's inside. It's much heavier than it looks. Nobody knows why. It takes a lot of effort to carry. Oh, perhaps there's a fucking human corpse in it. God damn it! I'm gonna get eaten up by goddamn desert cables. Fucking bullshit. Fucking bullshit. Go. Oh, I'm doing some Tokyo drift moves. Let's go. Yeah, I'm a strong boy. Oh, yes. Oh, I got another hill to go. Where are you, huh? More death? I can't see you. I don't know what you are. I got body in the back, though. So you're gonna ride with that. A broken air conditioner. The rusty air conditioner. Modern humans cannot live without air conditioners due to global warming. Yet the use of Freon in air conditioners is also indirectly causing global warming. But what do you want me to do? Just fucking sit there and die of heat? Don't you fucking guilt trip me on my air conditioner. There is a lot more things causing fucking global warming than just my air conditioner. Alright. Fucking judgmental ass desert. What do we have here? What? A TV? 
Who would waste a perfectly good TV out here? Nope, another fucking petrol barrel. Corroded iron bucket. The surface of the barrel is corroded with the liquid inside is highly corrosive. Perhaps I could use that to burn the cords off and release the person that is trapped within said fucking cord cocoon. Or I could put the body into the incinerator, which is probably what I'm going to do, to be completely honest. Because I'm a fucked up individual who was on death row. Who's not going to survive this? Oh shit! Oh fuck! We're going so fast! Alright, disposing the evidence. We didn't kill anybody. The desert did. Just remember that. The desert did everything bad. I did everything right. And let's just. D503. Damn right I did. However, he did not realize that he had already encountered his first. No, well, I realize. Trust me, I know. You didn't think I thought the tiniest bit suspicious? Also, why is there a ladder all the way to the smoke top? What am I gonna do up there? Alright, let's show everybody that I'm dumb. Show please select three pictures with a triangle in it. Triangle. Uh, triangle and triangle. Oh, fuck. Okay, equal to five. Okay. Five plus zero, obviously. Five, yeah, okay. Yes, that. Damn. Easy! What? One, two, three, four, five. But not five? Oh, wait. I might be wrong here. I think I had to see what I got wrong. There we go. You see, I'm not that dumb. Still in first place, God damn it! Who is doing better than this, me? Who? Who is number one? Two, five, seven. I want to know. I want to beat this goddamn score. Go to sleep on our clean, queen-size mattress. D503's psychological data showed abnormal fluctuations. He was a fucking idiot. He didn't know what Analysis equal to five. How could you possibly know that? What analysis? We have. <laughs> I don't want to know either. Why do I have to know? This is so fucking cool and so terrifying at the same time. Just imagining shit existing around the world. Like, just. Hey, I saw that phone box somewhere else. Why is that here? I saw that in one of the other cells. I'm being followed by that fucking phone box. I saw it at the beginning. The eighth day marked a significant turning point. The start of SCP-7457's impact on D-503. Are there any questions? Why'd Ryan Hall leave? Where'd Ryan Hello, go? Dr. Ham? I'm Spencer Jones from the Special Operations Department of Site 21. Hello, Spencer. It's still unclear as to why D-503 needs to pick up all of this trash. If you wanted to monitor his psychological response to SCP-7457, why not just leave him out in the desert? Because he would why fucking die. tasks when there are already psychological evaluations taking place? Okay. Our analysis has indicated that SCP-7457 produces a new cluster of trash every 8 minutes and 37 seconds. If waste collection is not done regularly, all that trash may soon flow into our world. It is worth noting, though, that the quantity of waste created here pales in comparison 
to the amount produced by humans. However, it still has the potential to become a significant problem in the future. By assigning these tasks to D-503, we can monitor his reactions while also containing the trash. Are you fucking serious? Reason, but we will get to that one later. Is what it not the, the case that the fuck? Foundation is exaggerating the importance of a minor issue before the issue is fully understood? Okay, everyone. Okay, everyone. So Spencer wants to be a little bitch. Us is the general public, who are wholly unaware of any of this. Being meticulous and maintaining a serious attitude is essential at the SCP Foundation. Any oversight or underestimation of the enemy may result in disaster. Exactly. Why would Thank you... Thank you, Dr. Ham. I understand. I hope you do. I don't okay. want to hear any more fucking Let's questions from you, Spencer. The effects of SCP-7457. Doc, the why do we have to be so careful? Isn't being careful, like, uh, lame? Like, what the fuck Due was that question? That day, we were only able to track his movements after recovering data from his radar. <laughs> it was definitely a bad day. Perhaps the worst. The worst day of his Even life. Even for a death row inmate. Oh. I can't wait. Thank you. Now I get to experience it. Because I'm the death row inmate. Because I did the horrible shit, right? Now how'd you get out here, little guy? Huh? You playing around with the tentacles? Oh, wait, was this a friend? D-503 found a radar that perfectly resembled his own. How many fucking people you been killing here, World War II type? There's a lot of bracing. However, D-503 didn't seem to think much of it. D-503 was pretty fucking stupid. I didn't realize he got set up. What's stopping me from leaving this fucking desert? What is stopping me? Absolutely nothing. Deal with your own fucking trash. Make a fucking trash robot. I don't fucking know. Oh, another cocoon. I didn't even realize. Alright. I'm gonna name you Jimmy because I don't have any friends out here to talk to. So, Jimmy, you're gonna come to me with me. Yep, same thing. It takes a lot of effort to carry. But we're strong. We're independent. And we got. We're actually doing a good job of picking up trash, to be completely honest. I don't see any trash out here whatsoever, meaning that we must be the best employees that this company has ever fucking seen. Look at that. We already picked up a tire. Hold on. I did not pick up that tire before. You couldn't have given me the satisfaction of picking up one. Discard tires, handheld radar, and black spindle. Just black spittle, whole hundred kegs, huh? Persistent adverse physiological reactions proved to be a challenge for D-503. He still managed to complete his work on day 15. I have nothing else to do out here in the but desert. He encountered an incident. <laughs> Why can't what does the sandstorm do? walked in the sandstorm for a long time, but he couldn't seem to find his way back. Did I not live at that building? Did I live at a different building? Oh, okay. I just... Why'd I ditch the truck? I never took the truck back to my place? Oh, yep. Yeah, these things are gonna fucking eat me. Alright, you know what? I'm a death row inmate. I did some bad shit, so I accept it. The sand is fuck. This game is beautiful. I'm running it like at medium graphics right now, and it might be one of the best games I have played on my PC. Oh my god, that is too fucking yellow. <laughs> this shit looks crazy. I'm super hyped to play this for you guys. I'm gonna be playing all of the stories on here that they got. That is a promise directly to you. So I hope you are ready for a week filled with SCP adventures because this game has got me sold. I made it back. D503 managed to find a site just as he was beginning to grow weak with exhaustion. A My site he was not familiar with. 
No, I need my daily burger. I'm growing weak. Without my satisfaction burger, I will die. What did they do to you? Me? Is that me? I think that might be me. Why do I keep turning into a phone box? What do you mean? I can get up there. Just walking super slowly. Need my burger. Oh, what was that? Lie? No, no. The secret government organization will never lie to us. A death row inmate. You know, the people they were tasked to kill. They would never lie to us about that. They were all about telling the truth. Let's check you out. How are you feeling? Ooh, ooh, it's coming out of his face. And there I go. I didn't have... I didn't have the burger energy to run away from the cords. So, unfortunately, it got me. Do I get to go to the great holy telephone booth at last? Have you ever experienced a call from an unknown voice? Absolutely not. Oh, I'm still alive. Approximately 13 hours later, a visibly trembling D-503 returned to Site 8. We immediately performed a psychological evaluation. Immediately. You couldn't come out to see me in person. All right. Ah, I got goop vision. Please. No. I wanted to do the test. I, I'm just blown away about how amazing this game is. I'm sorry I keep going quiet. Evaluation were so troubling. We had to abort the mission. What do you mean? The fact that I didn't do the test. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I see. I can see how that could be troubling. Give me my goddamn burger. was able to break away from the foundation's control. Are you kidding me? This is your fucking control room. Oh shit! How do you see the test? None of the level D personnel at SCP-7457 have ever been able to leave. Well, it's because they didn't. They weren't me, and they didn't have the power of delicious floor burger on their side. Oh Jesus! I got hit in the face. Where get the fuck out of here, Scoob? Before the desert claims us. We're fucking going. We're out of here, boys. Oh, wait a fucking second. No, I was picking up truck pieces of the past. No, I just realized the tires. God damn it. Oh, 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 oh. oh, the city. I'm back. What? D503 heard the call. I didn't want to hear the call. What fucked up future am I in? What is this? I thought I knew what was going on, but I'm so far from it. Damn right they are. And all choices come from their own free will. That is a lie. When you get they a phone don't realize that we humans form only a small part of this world. I'm going up this thing. Out there, in the unknown world, we are as oh, I can't go up it. as a grain of sand in this vast desert. Who's gonna pick up the buildings? This is my question. Because I can't throw this all into the incinerator. I can put that in the incinerator. I, I can pick up that. 
It's a giant spider web. That's a giant spider monster. I don't want to talk to the spider monster. It's gonna. Look at all the fucking bodies. If I can get inside the spider monster's, like, fucking face, can I kill it from the inside? This seems like a really bad fucking idea. Oh, yep. He did not have the strongest of instincts. Some say that he was bred to die because he walked into the center of a giant spider death pit. Oh, that's fucked up. I'm still alive. You're telling me I get to be burned alive by my own self? Or is that just another fucking prisoner you got? No, he only threw me away. There's not even other trash. It's rude. <laughs> he singled me out in particular. Are we the trash? What does it mean? Dr. Ham, you better have a fucking explanation right now. 48 days later, experiment participant D-722 found the radar that it belonged to D-503. The radar was 31 miles away from the waste treatment facility. All the data we have came from this radar. People entering SCP-7457 will suffer varying degrees of psychological stress within an acute period. It manifests as a range of neurological and mental disorders, as well as severe and unexplained hallucinations. So far, not one participant has left the desert unscathed. The Foundation has tested 31 Level D personnel in an area spanning 2,267 square miles. Our testing continues. When you work for the Foundation, you will face various anomalies. What are we testing? Some can kill you. Nothing. Some drive you crazy. We got no Some info from that. Besides, it fucking killed me. And you didn't tell Let the people about the giant clear. spider death monster SCP that we all saw is just a taste of what you will face in the future. Before joining the Foundation, you were all leaders in your respective fields and industries. Researchers, special forces, FBI agents, national security experts. Well, SCP does not care how I, smart you are. I worked at a restaurant I graduated from MIT. I was none of those things. And titles you, have. you are no different from helpless ants when confronted with these anomalies. Remember this. You are ants beneath the, the most trash desert. You will receive. Do not take risks. You will die. You are not as special as you think you are. If you encounter an anomaly, put your pride and curiosity aside. Run. Because that's the only thing you can do. God won't protect you here. Welcome to the Foundation, rookies. I'm Dr. Raymond Ham, and this ends the first class of our employee induction program. Dr. Ham seems like you got a little bit personal at the end there. Holy fuck, this game is amazing. Training course then, please add your comments. I'm fucking five star, five star, five star, five star. Good, it helped me, it helped me realize the strictly don't buy by the rules I could be injected with amnesiacs. <laughs> Unlike Jonathan. Only saw a boy scout instructor scaring a rookie. Alright, that's good. Yeah. Here we go. Who is she success in your work? Okay. Uh. Can I? Is there a save button on here? Okay. Well, that is all the time I have for this game. If... You guys enjoyed, please leave a like down below and comment what other games like to see me play in the future or if you'd like to see me continue to play this. I probably am going to keep playing because this 
is all super fucking fascinating to me, and I love every second of playing this game so far. So I hope to see you all in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe so you can be ready for the other videos that will be coming out. And I'll see you all in the next video. Farewell. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Noises, I can hear that. Like the back of my ear, and it's making the hairs in the back of my neck stand up. Oh, stop! stop.